My name is Sarah Mather and I believe in research. Research is more than just purchasing equipment and, and paying for scientists. Research impacts everybody. Uh, the discoveries that we're making here improve the availability of treatments for any number of diseases. The tools we're building help patient care and help the families of those patients. Everybody at some point is touched by the research that goes on here. We have, I think, a very unique structure. We have a very unique perspective in terms of how we take research going on inside a health centre and use it to provide both health and economic impact. It leads to employment opportunities for this province's uh, graduates and it leads to made in Nova Scotia solutions to our healthcare problems. Research also brings companies here who make the technologies and the companies will often bring the latest products with them so that our local patients have access to those technologies which they might not otherwise have. Our research keeps students here and attracts the brightest minds to our province. So uh, we were working with brain surgeons who basically said uh, during surgery one of the most important things to us is to avoid cutting into critical functional regions of the brain. So my PhD work was to create this algorithm that takes that brain imaging data and does all of the complicated processing and quality checks along the way to make sure that you get a good quality roadmap for that surgeon to, to follow. So I was at Stanford University in California. I was working with their molecular imaging program there. I worked with the Department of Radiology doing research with ultra-high field magnetic resonance imaging. It, it was important for us to be near family. We always wanted to raise our daughter closer to both of our families. And so it was always our goal to try and come back here when it became possible. So it's attracting those great minds that we can bring back to Nova Scotia and say, you can come here, you can do your research here and have access to the best technology in the world and let's do this here at home. We're punching well above our weight in terms of the tools we're building, the discoveries we're making. Uh, everything that we do here is on par with what's happening elsewhere in the world. We've solved problems on a relatively small budget that larger institutions have had difficulty solving. I, th I put that down to the innovation and uh, brilliance of the scientists I work with. Investing in research at the QE2 changes the delivery of healthcare in our province. So when it's you and me, when it's our, our parents, our siblings that are getting sick, they're going to benefit from this research having been done right here in Nova Scotia because it's going to be the Nova Scotian hospitals that are the first ones to have these, these new products when they've been developed right down the hall. Uh, if you want to make an investment in helping people, if you want to make a difference, few things make a difference as much as helping people who are sick. Research improves patient care for patients like me. February 13th, 2015, I became paralyzed from the nose down. But look at me now. I believe in research. Research is everything. Research leads to the developments that help you go from paralysis to recovery. So investment here is investment in life and our community as a province.